Hi, this is Amy, and I want to show you a few neat Chrome tricks today that I just love. So if you're an experienced Chrome user, this probably isn't for you because you probably already know these tricks, but they are tricks I use every day and really value. So one of them is pinned and moving tabs. So I want to show you how I normally keep my um, Chrome window. So here's my work email. And what I normally do is pin this tab and then I pin my personal email tab. And then I like to keep my work calendar up all the time. And so I pin that tab. Now let's say I get a bunch of other windows open, which that happens to me a lot. Does that happen to you? Like you get, you have 20, you just look up and somehow you've got 20 windows open in Chrome. What you can do then, is you can just right click on one of these tabs and you can do close other tabs and all those other tabs will go away and you'll be left with just your pin tabs. Or let's say you have, you know, four or five open over here and you decide, well, I really want to just move these tabs around because I really only want these four open, then I can right click up here and do close tabs to the right. Everything to the right of that tab goes away. And these tabs also, if you didn't notice me doing that before, I know it's probably pretty small up there, you can move these tabs around. And the same is true of your open tabs that you've got. You can take these and shift them around. So if you're gonna be doing a presentation, you wanna get all your tools open, then you can line them all up that way. So that's thing number one. Thing number two is multiple users. And I just can't show enough people this because it's just that important. I love to be able to build a Google site. For example, I was just working on one this morning for our living classroom project, and I embedded a slideshow of pictures from Picasa. And I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder whether those pictures are gonna show up when I'm not logged in as me, because you know it, the permissions matter on those kind of things. It comes from Google Plus now, and are people gonna be able to see that? So what I did is I just clicked my current Chrome user icon, that's up here on a Mac in the right and in a PC on the left. And I just switched to a different account that wasn't signed in at all. So let's do that now. And then I just pasted that link in there to that site. And that gave me a chance to test whatever I was gonna push out to someone else and make sure that all those links work and that, that everything's still functional and all that kind of stuff. I also like that because I can have my personal account signed in that has that those bookmarks in it. And then I can also have the account for my work account signed in too, and it's easy for me to switch back and forth. Now, you might be saying to me right now, even though I can't hear you, it's like I can hear you because I bet what you're saying is, Amy, my account doesn't have that. I don't see that flower or martini glass or whatever up there on the right on my Mac or the left on my PC. Well, if you have never added a new user before, you might not see it. So let me show you how to do that. You go to these three marks, which I call the hot dogs. People seem to remember that better than the three marks up in the right. And you go to settings. And then right down here on the first page that you come to, you're gonna have a chance to add a new user. Once you get at least two users added to this account, so watch this creates a brand new Chrome window here. And once you get at least two users, then you'll see the icon and you'll be able to do the switching like I'm showing you. So I hope you're still watching because I saved what I think is the best for last. I got this idea from Karen Justel, who is my friend and colleague who works down in uh, Spring Branch ISD. And she showed me this just a couple of weeks ago and it's, it's really major for me, I love it. So this is what she recommended to me. See how some of these uh, icons up here, they have some of these um, bookmarks, sorry, they have little icons out to the side so you can really tell what they are. So this is what you do to save a lot of room on your bookmarks bar. By the way, if you don't even see your bookmarks bar, you wanna go into your hot dogs and you wanna go into your bookmarks menu right here and you want to do show bookmarks bar. Let me move that over real quick so you can see. So bookmarks menu, put a check mark there by show bookmarks bar so that you'll always see that. I, I don't know how people live without that. I can't live without it. 
So here I am, and now I'm gonna make a bunch more room on my bar. I'm gonna go to edit, and now I'm gonna delete this long name. I don't need all that, and save. And now on my bar, I have a nice little icon there I can still click on, but I don't use up all of that space. Isn't that awesome? Thank you, Karen, for showing me that trick. So I hope you learned something new today, and those are the kind of things that matter to you. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.